Hey folks, so this is a new style of photography to me, something that I just learned about and I wanted to share this with you guys and kind of bring you along. I'm going to experiment with this and see how it works, but this is called light painting and uh, it's very simple. What you need here to accomplish this or to experiment with this like I am, a dark environment. So I made this little kind of makeshift dark room because it, it is actually midday, a tripod, a uh, camera with a lens that's I'm using a wide angle you could use any lens for this but I'm gonna use a wide angle 14 to 24 uh, you could use the 10 to 18 you could even use the 18 to 55 kit lens for this so kind of a strange concept I'd never heard of it till a couple weeks ago then I was like you know what let's uh, make a video and experiment with this see how see if we can do it and I don't know let's give it a shot. these are the settings I'm gonna use here the important thing here is we're going to put it on the M, manual mode. What you want to do is set your aperture for around F18, F16, F20, whatever, around the maximum that your aperture can go there. So I'm going to go to F20 on this lens. Set the ISO at 100 because this is going to be a little bit of a longer exposure. You want that as the image as clean as possible. And then I'm going to set this for eight seconds which you will see why here in a second. But first, let's take a standard shot of this. Um, I'm gonna show you, let's set it at a, a four second exposure. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do here is hit the drive mode and I'm gonna set the timer on the camera for two seconds. And what that'll do is it'll eliminate any shake when I do hit the shutter, we'll give it a second and eliminate the shake. Now it's it's a, a bit of a longer exposure here and so there's the picture with nothing done and actually that looks pretty good just like it is now but now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back I'm gonna set the exposure time here for six seconds I'm gonna turn off all of the lights and then I'm gonna take a little light this is a little flashlight. Uh, this one winds. I don't even have a, the other ones were too, I don't have a regular little tiny flashlight, but if you can get a little light source and kind of, what we're going to do is we're literally going to paint the light on there. Let's do this. Let's, let's run through this one more time to wind up the light. I want to shine this light on the wheels really good. Get it back up here. Let's see. And that's how it looks. A proper flashlight would probably have been better. Let's see. So there's that car. And that's it. That's light painting right there. It's very simple. And you can upscale this to obviously a full vehicle, a full size vehicle as well, but you need obviously a whole different setup, different lights. But let's try this one more time with, so the, the cool thing about this is there is no right or wrong way to experiment and learn. So I'm gonna try with this weird looking uh, elephant. I'm just trying to find things in my house that have kind of a reflective surface that I think might look pretty cool. So let's do this. Oh man, any day now. <laughs> it wasn't done already. Finding the proper light source, I think, is going to be the key for me to be have the success I want. So let's try the phone light. It just gives off so much extra light. I want it to be more pin, more pinpoint. I'm just going to go out and buy a light. All right, let's try this. Let's just kind of go around there nicely without getting in the shot. Oh wow, <laughs> that's kind of cool. You get the basic idea here. A bit of a longer exposure here. Find a light source that is, you know, that you can pinpoint probably better than this. I'm gonna have to get a little, a little miniature light. You know, something they sell them all over the place. I just haven't got one. But it looks like this is this. It's pretty cool, especially for like products and stuff. Pretty fun. You don't need to see me do this for all of them, but I'll show you some cool ideas I might have here. And that's it. So here, I'm gonna end this with some samples of what I, 
what I got. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this was something you enjoyed, and it's pretty cool, because uh, I, I can see a lot of potential here. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day, and uh, I'm going to end this rolling some examples.